Over the last five years that I've been in cryptocurrency, I've found it easier and easier to make money from the market knowing this one thing. Now, it's always this one thing when it comes to a video because we're trying to focus in on one point and take away one message that we can learn from and then implement in our own trading and investing. If it was multiple things, it just gets a little confusing. Like when I ask you to do multiple things of like, subscribe, bell notification icon, click all, you get the deal. There's a lot to do down there. So let's focus on one thing and that is hitting that like button for today. So the one thing here is looking at making money in crypto is easy, but let's take a look at the biggest problem that I see when it comes to YouTube and content creation, because we're all trying to hit that YouTube algorithm when it comes to YouTube. That goes for the biggest influencers out there as well. Now, this is not to pick on any particular influencer. This is just what people search. So whenever I'm doing my own little personal development for my investing, I reflect on myself. What have I done wrong so that I can improve and get more gains from the market? So the first thing I'm looking at is what is the most popular content? This tends to come up as 100x altcoin gems. Why is this thing the most important and most common, I should say? And it's done from everyone from the smallest YouTube channels to larger YouTube channels to the creme de la creme coin bureau. Everyone does the three altcoins to watch, the three this, the 100x. You've seen it so many times before, just like I have as well. So why is this going on? Well, it's because most people come to cryptocurrency to make massive gains. They want to get themselves out of a situation that they don't feel comfortable in or they don't like in their life right now. Uh, maybe they just want to make more money and they do love where they're at. You know, you answer that for yourself, but everyone's trying to make more money to improve themselves. So if you come to investing, trying to improve yourself, you're going to be searching for things that can make you more money. You're not necessarily looking for things which are going to do you well when it comes to investing, which is essentially defensive. You need to protect what you currently have, not go and throw more at it into other investments or trades, which are essentially gambles for most of the time. So knowing this one thing has saved me hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't say that lightly. And in some cases, if you are trading with smaller accounts, maybe it's tens of thousands of dollars, maybe hundreds or just thousands of dollars. Either way, knowing this will definitely, definitely save money. And it is essentially doing less than doing more, but I'll get to that in just a second. So there are more things that can go wrong in investing that can go right. I know it's not sexy. I know it's not at 100X altcoin video, but if more people did this, they would definitely, definitely save more money and have more money to invest than going out and gambling. And I think this is a pretty good time to be talking about it, especially when the market is down. In a bear market, after everyone has come off those highs, maybe not made as big a gains as they thought they had, and this can be one of those reasons. I look at it like defense is better than offense when starting out. You need to be able to have enough money and enough capital to go and hit the market again when the market is right. We don't need to go out and uh, blow everything on all of these 100x, 3x, whatever x altcoins that are next because we need to practice and go through the market to learn what we need to do next, set our plans up, have some money aside so that we can uh, get those gains after. So to back up that statement about saving tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars, I'm looking at the market movements, how much we may have started with, and then also the timing of the market that we got into cryptocurrency. 40X, I'll show you that in the chart in just a minute uh, in terms of where the timing is and how much you're starting with. So 40 times a thousand bucks, 40 grand. Simple maths, 40 times one, uh, 10,000 is 400,000. I've got 12,800X as well with a thousand dollars. This coming out at 12.8 million. I know it sounds crazy, but that first run from 2015 to the top of January 2018 is about a, a crazy number, 1,280,000% return. So 12,800 times. Of course, I am not saying that this is going to replicate itself, but in terms of timing and what we have to look out for, these are some of the numbers we can work from. So this is just to show you an extreme example. This is using total two. So this is all of the cryptocurrencies, excluding Bitcoin from that bull market of uh, 2015 through to the altcoin top of 2018. Of course, Bitcoin topped in 2017. Now I've got a yellow box and then I have another green section. This is the second last round that we just went through. So this was the boom from 2020 up to a high in May of 2021 for the altcoins. 
that's 3,900% return. So we're rounding some numbers here to get an idea of the potential returns, call it a 40X. And then the most recent one we saw was from these lows of June and July of 2021 up to the current top in November. So it was only a few months there. It was about 200%. So call it your 3X return. You doubled, you tri basically you tripled your money in this one. The yellow boxes are timings that the market was not going up. So this is just a sideways or down period. And there were lots of things that were popping off in this. But I'll get to that in a moment in terms of the different portfolios. And I'll leave a link to some really interesting and very, very helpful videos at the end of this video. So stay around for that. And uh, you can watch those after this as well to set yourself up for this success. So back to those numbers, you can really get some big returns provided you can keep your head out of the clouds with all of the hopium of our 3x, 10x, 100x, this three altcoins, that three altcoins. I know it's there. I will definitely be doing videos on that in the future because that is what people are searching for. But I want to throw this sort of content within those videos because this is essentially what has made me my money, not necessarily looking for more opportunities to go out on the offense and dump money into other projects. The defense is what has allowed me to survive in the markets long-term and make a full-time income and long-term wealth from these markets. We've established what goes on in the market. We've established what people always search for. And if I'm putting these problems into some written format here, we're looking at myths. A lot of people look for more trades means they can make more money. So we're looking for more 3x, 10x, 100x altcoins because if we can trade more, we're probably going to make more money. DCAing in the wrong season. We're looking at here going long only. So basically just buying, not going short. Okay, so dollar cost averaging in the wrong season of the market as well. And then plan to hodl altcoins in a bear market. Of course, we don't want to do that. Some of us don't want to do that because we just see our altcoins go down by 80 or 90%. And then the amateurs, looking back at the first point, amateurs want to trade all of the time. They're desperate for profits. This is essentially called over trading. What sparked the idea for this video was a comment from a viewer saying, you haven't been putting up any trades. That's because it's over trading in the wrong season. And I know amateurs want to get in and just trade and trade and trade because they believe that's going to give them more money. Having said that, there are opportunities to trade, but they are far fewer when the market is down, especially the altcoins. We're separating the altcoins from your Bitcoin, from your Ethereum. That's leverage trading as well. But let's just stick, it, stick to something nice and simple to understand. When the market is excited and happy and all those emotions and energy are flying around, it's much easier to throw a dart at a board and put your money on almost any altcoin and they're going to go up. You're going to be able to make some profits, even if it's small profits because you picked the wrong one, they're probably still going to go up. But you want to be picking the awesome ones that go up hundreds or thousands of a percent. Over trading in a bear market is going to destroy a lot of people because the, the moves to the upside are going to be much smaller. The risk to the downside is much bigger. I'm not talking about a ton of trades while I believe the market isn't ready for these altcoins to be popping off. We have gone through a massive party over in 2021. Everyone has become drunk. They're in their hangover stage. Personally, I could be wrong. I'm always open to that because of how long I've been investing for. I know I can be wrong, but I'm not ready. I don't think the party is ready to get over their hangover yet so we can start our next party. And I think that needs a little more time before we're there. I definitely think it's gonna come back, but I think we need a little more time. Therefore, trading in these sorts of markets is over trading and it's basically a recipe for disaster. So the variables here are going long, which is basically buying only. Your portfolio is set up only to buy or short and long, which means you sell first and buy back later. If that's too confusing and too much to think about, doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. You're only looking for buy only. Therefore, we're going to be talking about which seasons to be buying in. Short and long is leverage trading. You can trade in any season, a bear market, a bull market, a sideways market, which is a little more difficult because it gets choppier. But if you're shorting and longing the market, doesn't matter. You just want volatility. You want the market to be going up and down. You want to see bad things happening in the world and good things specifically for investing and trading, not because you want bad things to happen to people. Of course, we want more th good things to happen to humanity, but the bad and the good is what creates the volatility 
and allows you to make the money when the market is dropping and rising. That's your opportunity to make money from the market as crazy as it sounds. I wasn't gonna just fill you with only the problems. I like to have solutions to some of the problems. And if I don't have solutions, I'm gonna go and find some solutions and test them and then implement them into my long-term plan. For this problem, the overtrading problem, show me more trades. I need more 100X altcoins to invest in now because nothing is going on. Understand the season. The solution is buy within the correct season for your plan. If your plan is long only, basically buying and waiting for the markets to go up, personally, I like to invest in momentum. So long only trades, I wanna see that momentum going to the upside. I wait for accumulations, I wait for breakouts. I don't need to buy the bottom. I don't need to buy uh, any of these trades which are just getting started. If I wanna make quick money, then I wanna be in the right season. I wanna be seeing these markets going up and a lot of energy coming into the markets. Of course, everyone can have their own plan, but this is what works for me, which is why I'm sharing it with you. Dollar cost averaging for the long term. And then I'll split the portfolios up. Like I said, I'll leave a video at the end of this video to another video talking about portfolios. I know there's a lot of videos, but essentially it's just understanding the basics. Dollar cost averaging into a long term strategy. Bitcoin, ETH, that's long term. Altcoins, shit coins, the other side of the fence to me. You might have different opinions. Maybe you put Cardano in your long term. Maybe you put Solana. Personally, you, you know that from the channel that that's not how I do it because I haven't seen them prove themselves. So I'm playing a more defensive game and I'm dollar cost averaging in for the long term. I do not want to overtrade the markets, especially when it's difficult. I don't want to be pushing shit up a hill trying to get into these trades when there aren't as many buyers here, more new investors, more amateurs to be making money from. That's essentially what has happened in the market. And if you stuck around this long through 2021 into 2022, you'll know that now and it's not a good feeling. I remember that from 2017 into 2018, you're just holding onto these old coin bags and you're thinking, what is going on? I don't want to be that same fool that I was back then. So I have to learn from those mistakes as tough as it is, put it aside and move on with the job at hand. Less is more. So essentially I'm doing less trading and I'm making more when I have the patience. I just think of it like a Bruce Lee quote, one of my favorites. Absorb what is useful, reject what is useless, add what is essentially your own. So take what works for you, reject what doesn't work for you, does not have to be complicated. It's definitely not complicated, that's for sure. It needs to be really, really, really simple and then add what is your own. So you're basically creating the plan so it works for you. That's the solution. How do you put it together? Requirements, three Ps, patience, plan, practice. So you have your plan, you have your patience, then keep practicing this plan. It's that simple. We got through the problem. We looked at examples of how this problem occurs and why it occurs. We had the solution. What are some examples of this on a chart? And of course, in our altcoins as well. Breakouts, we've had this from our members as well. We're looking at breakouts, links are in the top of the description if you're interested in Patreon, but essentially just looking at these breakout trades. So you can have them in a bear market, but there's gonna be smaller returns versus bigger returns. Now, of course, I'm generally speaking here, there are gonna be the odd one or two that pop off, but it's way more difficult. So it's up to you how you wanna approach the market. If you wanna spend every minute of your day there looking for these altcoins which are popping off, you might be there all day and maybe you don't find anything. That's up to you. But I want to make life easier for myself and then get into these markets when everything's popping off. Just be water, my friends. Make it nice and easy. So smaller returns versus bigger returns because this is within the season. I see it as a bear market. There's going to be smaller returns to the long side, the upside, the buy only. If you're going short, you're going to have opportunities to the downside here. So adjust the expectations based on the season. That simple. The example I want to use is something that one of our members took as a trade. Now, I was trading Moon River. I got out because the market was breaking down, took a very small loss on this trade as I was expecting bigger things, didn't happen. Therefore, follow my plan, get the hell out of this thing. It has since fallen from around $300 all the way down to 60 bucks. So it's lost another 80% from that point. That's why if it says to get out, get the hell out of these things because they can definitely dump real hard. Now I was looking at this as a potential accumulation zone, very small, nothing that I thought would take this thing to all time new highs again, but it did have the potential for a small trade within the overall bear market trend. So I was posting about this to our members. One of the members took a trade from about 90 bucks up to about $110. So it took a small profit 
from this trade, not bad within a bear market, 20 to 25%. So essentially just adjusting the risk from what we would expect in a bull market going up say 200%, and looking at 20%, keeping those stops nice and close as well. And since that point, Moon River has dumped even further down to 60 bucks. So these are the types of trades that I would look out for in a bear market. So there is ways to make money in cryptocurrency, but if we're only going long, then we have fewer options in a bear market, an altcoin bear market. And if we're going long in a bull market, there's plenty of options there. And even if you don't, get the exact right crypto to make those hundreds or thousands of percent, you might get away with 20, 50, 80% returns, which is still decent. The main point here is not to over trade. It's better to be on the defensive, especially when the market is not in favor of your plan, which potentially for a lot of people is long only, basically buying and hoping the market goes up to make profits. I'm sure this video won't get as many views as a 100X altcoin gem or how to make a million dollars from crypto type of video. So if you found some value from it, make sure you smash, tap, whatever to the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys at the next video. All the links to everything I discussed are in the description down below. So don't get scammed out there. Plenty of those scammers in the comments. And I'll see you at the next one. Till then, have more fun to get more done.